hello and welcome back to my channel guys so in today's video we are going to do the calibration of this tachometer so i have taken this tachometer and you can see the range of this tachometer is from 0 to 200 revolution per minute and you can see some details like full scale is from 4 to 20 milliampere and maker is toyo kiki company limited so what does it mean from 4 to 20 milliampere it means once we are giving 4 milliampere current the RPM should be around 0 and at 20 milliampere current the RPM should be 1200 so you can see on the back side of this tachometer we have one adjust button so with the screwdriver we can rotate it clockwise and anti-clockwise and we can calibrate also you can see if you closely look this one there is plus indication and minus indication so here we'll put our positive probe and here we'll put our negative probe so with the calibrator we can put our positive probe in the positive and we can put our negative probe in this one and we'll see how much is the difference and how much we need to calibrate so let's get started so here you can see i have taken my fluke 715 volt slash milliampere calibrator and i need to check the output this is milliampere plus and minus and output is 30 volt maximum in case if i am giving volt millivolt as output if i am giving voltage as output now here we have to calibrate using 4 to 20 milliamps so signal is selected as 4 to milliampere and this plus wire which is the positive one will go in the loop and the minus wire will go here so now what we will do is we'll just switch on our device once we'll switch off switch on our device you can see it's showing 4 milliampere and it is open if we have to calibrate using voltage signal then we can select this volt and then we can by increasing this set button we, we can increase like uh, 1 volt 2 volt we can increase using this push buttons so this is how we can calibrate using voltage but now our signal is uh, milliampere so we can select from here milliampere range and we have to check the output so we can select the range whether we have to check input or output we can check from here so now we will have will move into output since we have to check output so we will put in output so now we will take our tachometer and we will connect this one so let's see how we can connect so here we have our two probes positive and negative one so we will take our tachometer and i'll discuss this is the positive one and this is the negative one so we will connect our positive probe into the positive and negative into the negative one so i will take my crocodile clip and i will connect the positive and also in the same way i will connect the negative probe so i have uh, already connected my probes now i will try to give signal now you see the milliampere is zero amps so i will try to give the signal using this push button this is the increase push button so i give eight amps so you see the needle start moving now i will increase the more so now it's 12 amp milliampere current so at 12 milliampere we should have 600 rpm but it's showing less than 600 it's around 550 to be honest so we'll uh, check in the full scale how much it is showing in the full scale so if we check in the full scale the rpm it should be around 1200 but it's not 1200 you see it is around uh, 1160 so as we discuss now since we are in full scale we can calibrate this one for calibration what we need we need one screwdriver and i will try to adjust this one from behind as i show you we can adjust using this one this yellow button as you can see from here so using this one you see when i try to increase it's almost near to 1200 so we need to adjust a little bit more okay now we are done now you see our rpm is exactly 1200 and now we can 
see how much it is showing when we are giving so now at 16 ampere 16 milliampere the rpm is exactly at around 900 and at uh, 12 milliampere it is around 600 and at 8 milliampere it is around 300 and at 4 milliampere it is 0 and once i make almost equals to 0 it will come to the pointed one also if we have to precisely calibrate we can calibrate using this one because it will um, in point in decimal we can do this one so you see once we start decreasing the value you will see the knob will start moving now it's 19.8 you see slowly slowly from 12 it's drifting it's drifting toward 1000 now it's crossing 1000 so for precise calibration we can use this 25 percentage button and for step calibration we can use this 0 to 100 percent range so we can slowly slowly move this one we can slowly slowly decrease and we can see the needle is start moving it is coming to 400 it's crossing 400 and it's not zero so this is how we can calibrate any tachometer or any analog meter which is basically in the range of 4 to 20 million pure using this loop calibrator thanks for watching bye bye see you in my next video